Hi everybody, it's 314 Reactor here, and today we are back on Tomb Raider 3, playing a little bit more. We're up to Nevada now, so let's do this. Now I am using a guide for this, because I want to get all the secrets and stuff. I did go back and replay the India levels. Uh, if you see my last video, I skipped a whole bunch of secrets and stuff. But I went back through and uh, did them, and it wasn't because I accidentally saved while in the South Pacific while falling to my death, uh, so I had to restart the whole game. <laughs> but... Essentially, we are back and we're ready to go. So the last episode, I had finished the boss fight in India. Oh. Ah, this game feels really good to play. Whoa! Yeah, it feels really good to play because the way Lara animates is really good. Like, it has a lot of weight to it. And there's even later games, like if you play something like Enter the Matrix or Max Payne, the way they move, it feels like the there's a rod in the middle of the screen and the character is just moving around that rod with the camera and it feels very lightweight and doesn't feel like it has a lot of weight to the how they move. Whereas this, a PS1 game, it feels like there's a lot of weight to how she moves and it's it's really impressive given how old this thing is. Even Tomb Raider 1 felt like that, and that was 1996. And it's just such a, it's such a tough game, but it's very fun to play. There's a secret down here. Oof. So what I want to make sure to do is to use as much ammo as possible in this level. Uh, I'm not going to waste it on the snakes, but for the humans, I'm going to try and use a shotgun and other weapons because at the end of this level, you lose all your weapons and you have to get them all back, so. But it does lead to the completely awesome level, Era 51. Hey, check this out. Awesome. I mean, that is a really low flying stealth plane, but. Whoa. Canyon. This is where the jumps get really tricky. Oh no! Ooh. Time to grab some Uzi clips. All right. So I think there's a secret down here. So I think I'll jump down to here. Not bad. Desert Eagle clips. B5 clips. Oh, yes. Now it's time to jump into the water. Which always sounds great. Great sound design. More Uzi clips. Got shotgun shells. More Uzi clips. Flares and shotgun shells. Oh, my God. See, look at that water effect. It's kind of warping the area underneath it. It's got kind of false, but really cool caustics effect. It's really cool. A lot of fakery they had to do back in the late 90s. This is where it gets fun. Right, because what you have to do is take a running jump over here, but not grab. You just have to jump. And there you go. If you try and grab, she won't make it. More shotgun shells. And back to where we started. Now we just need to retrace our steps. Full jump. Grab. And up. And over here is going to be a rattlesnake. This game is just pure evil. If jumps like this as well. Why are they flying around like that? It's very low to the ground. Oh, come on! See, how evil is this game? Oh! <sighs> right. Can't activate this TNT yet. 
So there are some flares in the cave. And the big Crash Bandicoot style TNT box. Because of course it's the 90s. Alright. Oh, I just love that. It's so, it's so PS1. Just a big red block that says TNT on it. It doesn't get any more PS1 than that. It's amazing. Oh boy. Oh, come on. Whoa! Oh! God's sake. Here we go. Oh boy. Another angled block as we're going to slide down this one. Yep. Oh, it's so evil. You'll be so on it. Here's where it gets ridiculous. So we've got to make a standing jump from here to that little block. Oh, phew, Jesus, man. Standing jump on the next ledge. Over to here. And then another running jump over here. Even with a guide, this is rough. Right, shotgun time. Listen to that sound as well. So nice. Right. So we go to here. Hey. Wait for it. Wait for it. See, these guys are just doing their jobs, guarding some random water wheel thing with a doom skull on their back, and Lara just shoots them. Secret area in here. Ooh, are these the Uzis? Oh yes, you do get the Uzis. Okay, cool. Let's see how much ammo we got with them. 680. Holy, oh my god. Also, I love the attention to detail of the guns. Like, the guns that are holstered, the gun on her back. And when you get the Desert Eagle, the, uh, the Desert Eagle will be equipped in, like, the right holster. And then one of the standard guns in the left holster. And then you can still have another gun on her back. It's so cool. I love that attention to detail. I mean, this game is just so video game logic, because what is this water wheel? What is it? Does anything like this exist in real life? There's an uh, eagle up there flying around. Or a vulture or something. There it is. <laughs> oh, the Uzis make short work of that. Awesome. So I think there's a snake around here. There we go. Some grenades. Grenade launch is a bit wonky, I find. It's not the best for taking on all enemies because it can just bounce around and not get them. I'm going to the water. There's a gate here. I'm going to yank this lever. Going to go across here should be some deagle clips. There's another lever here. I'm going to swim down through here. Here we go. God, this stuff is so claustrophobic. Like an underwater claustrophobic nightmare. Why are there so many switches? This should divert the water. Goodies here. So this, as I remember, gets annoyingly tricky. Because so we've got to do a standing jump over here. Oh, no. That's the easy part. This could be fun. Let's give it a go. Whoa! Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh. Okay, the game couldn't quite decide what it was doing there. Over we go. Nope. Oh, for the love of God, the camera work! Nope. So I messed up my save last time. Oh, could you just... Oh, yes! See, so if you fall in the water, it will just take you downstream back to, like, the beginning of the level. Or the beginning of the canyon we're in. 
So they put a little trick there, so you run off that and slide into it. God's sake. Now this dude just spawns in here. Because look, clearly, like, nothing there. No one there. No one there, right? And then... Where did he come from? Save crystal, and the detonator switch. And then we go back along the stream. This is where it's just... This is where it's just downright evil, because you have to go back through all this again. Oh boy. This should work. Usually works. Didn't work. Oh wait. I think we're good. Oh, come on. Down to here. The nice cinematic camera helps us out a bit. A nice jump. There we go. Oh! What's, what are you doing? Oh! Just grab the wall, please! What the heck is going on here? So you're supposed to kind of angle it at the wall and then jump towards it. Oh, for the love of humanity! Thank you! Of course, there's a boulder in here. Because, of course there is. Alright. Let's do it. I love the delay. Oh, it's great. Alright, let's go in here. We're about to get to the high security compound. Which is so high security, you wonder how anyone actually gets to work here. Okay, so I was trying to jump the wrong way. Alright, here we go. Uh, uh. Oh, these jumps are so tricky. None of them are really obvious. Go through here, through here, up here. And here we are at the high security compound. Now this bit was fun last time I played. I got really lost even following the guide. That's it. Alright. Ledge up. The level design is so intricate. Underwater levers again. Because it's very easy to do things in the wrong order. Here. Oh my god! The camera! See, the camera is very competent at taking those sort of shots. So now I think we've got to go down here. Have a little look around here. So this is the part where later on we're going to jump the quad bike over that fence. Rather, whoa! Rather recklessly. So we want to go in here first and pull a switch. Because everything is about pulling a switch in this game. Right. There we go. <laughs> cool. Right, so we're going to go to the elevated water tank now. Again, you have to wonder, how does any of this work? Like, you have to go in this bit, swim underwater for a bit, pull two switches, go around to another area, climb up some rocks, or down some rocks, pull, a, pull another switch hidden somewhere in the door, come back, this thing's open. It's just... Like, how would anyone get to work in the morning? It's got to be, like, the most ridiculous commute ever. And then how would you lock up? How would you lock up as well afterwards? And who are these people anyway? So we go in here. Jump up. Whoop. Couple more dudes around here. You see, talking of like how difficult this must be to lock up and get to in the morning. 
You know, you have to swim underwater. Every morning before work, you got to swim underwater in some dangerous cave and pull switches underwater and jump over fences and get keys and blow up caves and all sorts of stuff just to get into work. And then around lunchtime, Lara just runs around the corner and shoots you with a pair of Uzis. I mean, God, what an awful job, huh? I hope they have, I hope they have good health insurance. See, on the guide it says you can't pull the switch without getting electrocuted, but I've... Oh, okay, you can. <laughs> okay. When I played it last week, it didn't do that. <laughs> no more messing around. Where do these guys keep coming from? Why do they wait to come out and help their friends? Was he hiding? Some more Uzi clips around here. Ammo check. 459, not bad. Alright, more quad biking fun. Again, without a guide. Not obvious where you're supposed to go. Let's go. Let's see, supposed to go up here. A little break, 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 break! Oh, for the love of God. Break, 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 break! Stop! There's a key card up here as well. Look at the, I mean, one, the size of this key card, and two, why is it up here? Again, what do these people have to do to get into work every morning? You're a new starter, right? And you've got a, you've got a, yeah, you've got a, Here's your induction. You've got to come in, swim underwater, unlock these two gates, then you've got to get the quad bike, jump that on the roof. No, you've got to use the key card to lock the room, to turn off, turn on the electricity after draining the water tower, and then you've got to put the security card on top of the roof. That's important. And you, you, to put that up there, you use the quad bike. Park the quad bike back here. Hide behind some boxes just in case someone comes in. I mean, what kind of job is this? I mean, I know I'm pushing that joke pretty far, but it's just weird. Oh, God. Right, so we're in the office rec room here. And no one's doing anything because all the computers are just sat on a prompt. This poor guy's just locked in here. <laughs> it's it's got to be the worst job ever. Go in here. Closing into the end of the level. This is it. Yeah, last time I played this, I'm sure this didn't electrocute me the first time I used it. Alright, onto the quad bike. And Lara's about to do the most reckless, ridiculous thing ever. I also wonder, because she meets that guy, if you watch the cutscenes, she meets this guy after... India, and he just asked her to look for all these stones and stuff. Oh, Lara, I need you to just go to Area 51. She's like, oh, okay. In turbo. There we go. Boom. Isn't she wearing like some cargo-y trousers? Or combat trousers? Not hot pants? Who knows. And there we go. Took me 57 minutes and 15 seconds. All three secrets. 29 kills. 455 ammo. Hits 495. Health packs used 0, 0.0. And distance travelled 4.87 kilometres. That's not too bad, I think, for the Nevada level. That's pretty good. I mean, I was using a guide, but, you know. Anyway, if you like that, please do drop a like and a subscribe. Hit the little bell, really helps. You know the drill, do all that stuff. Especially if you like these videos. The last video got quite a few views, so I thought I'd do this one. If you like watching these videos, do let me know in the comments. And let me know some of your memories of Tomb Raider 3 or the PS1 era stuff. It's a good time, and I will see you in the next video.